So welcome back, friends. Today we're going to play with some new stencils. Stay tuned. So I created three uh, new packs. So one of them is a stencil, this one on top. I'm not so sure I'm going to like this one, so we're going to... We're going to give it a try. We're going to play with it today. This second pack has um, two masks in it. And they're the same, but one is smaller than the other. So I think they would be fun to play with together on the plate. So this last one is my favorite, I think. So it is a stencil. And then the areas that you know, I punched out over there, I'm actually going to include those because they could be used as masks and you can interchange the two in the same print. So I think it's a lot of fun. You can actually have these uh, mask type things go the opposite direction. So we're going to play a little bit today and I might change my mind on some of these. So as you will hear, I am still having trouble speaking. But we're going to try to get through this. So um, I'm, I'm starting with a um, creating a ghost. And so what I'm doing is I'm using deli paper to pick up through the openings. And now I'm going to pick up the ghost. And I'm using deli paper in both cases. So part of the reason why I was doing this to start with because I had some fibers on my plate and I was hoping to clean all of that up. And you can see one of them is very prominent right there in the middle. And so it did the trick. My plate is now, now clean. So I'm going to try the stencil again and this time I'm going to push the paint through the openings. And this is a little bit disappointing. It's a little, I think the openings are a little too small. So it was really hard to get the paint to go through. So this stencil could probably be used for something else, but I don't think it works so great on the gel plate. So I let that dry and now I'm going to lay down these, these shapes that are the mask portion of the stencil kit. And you can see they're like fun shapes. So, and you could do, you know, just rearrange it. And I'm going in the opposite direction of what the actual stencil is. So that should give us a interesting result. So I'm laying down some teal. So I'm trying to get like, you know, shades of blue here. The combination of manganese blue and the teal is very pretty. I'm going to let those dry. And I'm going to let this dry as well. And we're going to pick up with another color. Okay, so now I'm going to pick this up with um, Hansa Yellow. So this is a total of three layers with a, a single pull. So this last layer is, we have to pick this up wet. So we waited for those other two layers to dry. And I'm going to probably wait, this is fluid acrylic, so I'm probably going to wait just like a minute and a half. Um, you know, I kind of feel for the coolness. I'm more in control of the temperature in here today, so it really only took about a little more than a minute for it to dry. So I, so I, I cut out some of that so you didn't have to wait.
Okay, so then on this next one, I decide that we're going to do single layers and we're going to register the paper. So I'm going to tape it down on the far left so that every time I put the paper down, it's in the same spot or about the same spot. So that's what registration means. I got a tiny little fiber on my brayer still, so I'm cleaning that off. And I brayered a little too much, so now I started to take paint off, as you can see. All right, now we're good. So I'm going to start with just a solid Titan buff background. So I get a lot of questions about what I, what do you mean by register? So this is what I mean. We're going to tape the paper down on one side. That when we, that way, when we lift it up, we. Leave, the paper will always be like falling on the plate in exactly the same place. Um, this isn't the best form of registration, but I don't do a lot of registration anyway. So this is uh, my way of doing it. So we didn't get a clean pickup on this. But we're going to go with it anyway. So now I'm putting the stencil down and I'm going to push the teal paint through. And while the paint is still wet, we're going to bring the pa paper down again and we're going to pick it up. So in this case, you're seeing the opposite of the last one. The last one, we were letting the paint dry in between. We picked up with a, a layer of wet paint at the end. This one, we're going to do each layer individually and just keep layering over the other one. This one's the easier one to do and to plan because it's intuitive that you're going to start with your background color and you're going to overlay on top of each layer. The other one is a little more confusing because you're starting with your top layer and you're ending with your background. So if I was a beginner, I would start with this technique because I just think it's, it's easier. Okay, I'm using my cardboard that I cut out to make some texture. And while that's still wet, I'm going to overlay again. So I'm overlaying like manganese blue on top of the teal. And it's transparent, so she, you, st you still should see the teal coming through. Now the negative part of registration for me in the way of video is that I cannot show you the layers in between because it's it's too far off on the side and I have to keep it taped. Anyway, this is um, Payne's Gray and I mix a little bit of black with it to make it really dark. And I'm laying down my stencil again. But I'm going to I'm going to leave the I'm trying to get the ghost, so I'm picking up and I'm being careful not to press down on the stencil itself because I want to get a good ghost. So I'm, I'm just trying to press down in the openings. And we got a nice dark ghost. And you'll see that I'm not waiting too long in between. I've sped up a little bit, but it's, it's not sped up too much. It's not like double time or anything. So you can kind of get a, an idea. And I love that. And you could see that I laid the stencil down different, you know, opposite. So we've got those wavy lines going in the other direction. Anyway, so now that I have paint here, I'm going to pick this up because I don't like to waste anything. I love, sometimes these really faint ghosts are 
really nice. So I'm going to pick this up with a Titan buff, but I have this like sort of heavier body one. I'll put a link to everything in the description. The paper I'm using, especially the deli paper, that's a big question that I am constantly having to go look up the address because people don't look in the description. I always put these links in the description. So since I was trying to really clean my plate, I waited five minutes for this to dry. And this was a heavy body paint. So when you're using a heavy body paint, you have to wait a little bit longer. So just keep that in mind. If the paint's very fluid, like a craft paint, golden paints, you could probably pick it up pretty quick, like a minute and a half maybe, uh, sometimes even just a minute. But if it's a creamier paint like this uh, Amsterdam, might take a little bit longer. You'll see it's a stickier paint. <laughs> and uh, the heavy body is even stickier, so it's a slightly thicker paint. So again, I'm picking up with rice paper. This is my background layer, this nice um, bright green that Amsterdam makes. It's a beautiful color. Okay, so I'm going to use this stencil again. So, you know, when your paint is dry, when you're waiting for your paint to dry on the paper, sometimes, you know, like use that time to like really plan your colors and your, you know, your next step or plan it in advance. A lot of times I'm just really going with the flow, but since I've been sick, I really find that my intuition is kind of turned off. It's not really working very well. So I am uh, trying to plan a little bit better ahead of time. So this is Indian yellow, and I decided that I wanted to try to overlay the Indian yellow. So I'm going the way the stencil was designed to fit on the plate horizontally. But then on my second layer, I'm going to go in the other direction. And I'm going to use the Indian yellow again, which is very transparent. And as you can see from the, bra the, the cleanup sheet, the brayer sheet, look at that color. Those colors together, pretty, pretty fantastic. At least I'm hoping I'm going to get it. Not bad. So we shall see. Now we're going to go the, I was going to go on a diagonal, but then I changed my mind. And since it doesn't really fit, I decide to use some of the mask pieces cut from this stencil in that opening right there. Just two of them. So the Indian yellow was golden fluid, so it dries pretty fast. And in this case, I'll probably wait until I see it to see if I think it needs another layer. So I planned up to this point, but I'm not sure. So I wanted to see two different colors. So one of them is a magenta. These are both Amsterdam. 
and I squeezed them onto this piece of paper because I'm already using those colors and I wanted to see how these colors look with those colors. And I probably should have gone with the purple, but I chose the magenta. <laughs> the magenta looked good on the on the um, brayer off sheet, but um, I wasn't too happy with the way it came out. Let's see how sticky this paint is. It's very different, but. It also works really well on the plate. And for most people, it's probably easier to deal with. It gives you a little bit more time because it does dry slower. So I decide to use my oval stencil. So we're mixing it up a little bit. This isn't a new stencil. This is an older one. Not that old, though. But I just thought that these oval shapes might look good with the wavy pattern. And I'm not actually on camera. It doesn't look so bad in person. It was a little browner. So this ghost isn't too exciting. And since I really want to play with the new stencils, I, I just picked this up with some Titan buff and, and kind of, you know, put it off to the side. I might be able to use it someday. But we're going to move on. So I'm cleaning off to some of the paint that was left with a piece of painter's tape. And we're going to put down some Titan buff and I'm going to put just like a dollop of Indian yellow just to kind of, kind of give me a variegated uh, color background. Warms up the Titan buff a little bit. And I just wait about a minute and I pull this. And it's a beautiful background. I did get like a little bit of black up at the top so, or Payne's Gray or something. So I decided to use Payne's Gray. Let's, let's just go for a uh, dark color on top of it, sort of have that little spot make sense. And I'm going to pick this up. We're going to go for the ghost. And again, I'm trying not to press down on the stencil too much or the mask because then I will get a very light ghost. I think I ended up with a very light ghost on this one anyway, which was kind of disappointing. See, in some areas, it's, it's on, towards the end, it's like really light. And when you're working with the ghost, you have to kind of work fast because that paint was already starting to dry. But of course, that was because it was fluid. But it picked up nicely. Very nice. All right, so now we're going to overlay these masks using another color. <coughs> so this is the quinacridone red, which is becoming my one of my go-to colors. And we're just going to lay the masks down in a different way. Again, we're going to go for the ghost. And 
and all these deli papers are going to be good to have in my stash. I don't think I have any transparent papers with the quinacridone red. I think this will be beautiful to have in my stash. And it's a slightly darker ghost. You just never know what you're going to get. But in a way, that's what I like about the gel plate or the surprises. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so here's an overview. These were the first two, and like I said, um, as far as designs, stencils go, not my favorite. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not even going to put it for sale, so sorry about that, but I, but that's why we have to test these things, you know. I thought it was going to be fun, but it's not. Not enjoying it at all. But I'd love to hear your comments below um, if you think I'm wrong. But as you can see, it just really um, was a poor result. But this one I love. I love that deli paper, and I love the, the um, layered composition as well. And I think this was the one that I did, the multi-layer, with the final layer, um, or I, I don't remember the order that I did, but that might have been. Um, so this is just a pickup sheet, but that could be a nice uh, background. Okay, this one was the one where I started with that bright green background. I overlaid Indian Dello twice and then put some magenta on top. Not bad, I think it's fun. So I love, I call these my bonus sheets. I love the, the deli papers that have a lot of transparency. Um, I think these are a lot of fun. This particular mask is gonna make great deli papers. Here's our final print. So this was overlaying those masks twice in different directions different colors with a, a sort of a two-tone two background. So I'm very happy with this one. This was Payne's Gray and a Quinacridone Red. Now these are some papers that I did on another day without, without the camera running. And, um, you know, I was just playing around and uh, I got some interesting prints. This was just a clean up one, but you know, I sometimes I like those better than anything. And this is not like in my color palette, but I wanted to show it a little bit darker and, and moodier. And, and here's another one where I did the positive and the negative with that mask. So this, and the possibilities are endless, as you know, with a gel pre, uh, press. So just go for it. So don't forget, create, inspire, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. And so I have this other video that you might be interested in, so take a look.